Um, one of the things that uh, that I'd like before I talk to Rhoda, uh, I'll bring Rhoda over here to give uh, re brief remarks. We have learned uh, from from the Harris County Library and how they design and, and build facilities. We, we were we were the administrator of the design and construction, but we learned from the details that that the Harris County uses, and I think we were able to share and and be better in in what we do. And I want to thank you, Rhoda, for that. Thank you very very much. With that with that said, I'd like to invite Rhoda Goldberg to give brief remarks. Hello, everyone. I am really excited to be here today. Um, we are just delighted to take formal possession of this beautiful building. As Issa told you, it is a 30,000 square foot uh, facility. We'll have two uh, large meeting rooms and a computer lab. We'll have a room for teenagers. We'll have a gaming space for teenagers. We'll have lots of room for children to read and to learn the joy of reading. So we welcome all of you to come in after the uh, ceremony, and uh, our, my staff is here, and we'd all like to give you a tour and, and, and show you this building. But I'd like to first thank a real library champion, Commissioner Jerry Eversall. Yes. Not, not only has he made, helped make this building possible, but through his efforts and his support and his enthusiasm for libraries, he's helped the Harris County Library grow and improve over his tenure as commissioner. And thank you from all of us. <laughs> Council Member Sullivan, thank you for everything you've done to make this project a reality. Um, this is just a building that we are going to treasure. And Dr. Lawson, to you and to your staff at the Houston Public Library, we look forward to more projects with you. Um, as a joint project, we are going to work with the Houston Public Library to bring some of their services out here to the people of Kingwood, and we look forward to that. This library um, is the uh, really came about because of the efforts of so many people and the expertise of so many people. Uh, Christy Whittington, our branch librarian, and Jim Johnson and Kim Capps from Kingwood are here. These are the staff you know and see every day when you come into the old library, and they'll be here. And my thanks to them, their experience, their ideas, their devotion and, and dedication to customer service comes through in this design. And to the staff of the library that's at our administrative offices, they're in the back there. Um, I'm just going to ask them all to raise their hand. There's kind of a lot of them. Okay. Thank you. My, my thanks for the work you did on Kingwood and just to the work that every day that you do to make Harris County Public Library the library that it is. We are excited, to, and all of us, want to invite you to the grand opening. On Monday, April 19th, 10 o'clock, at this spot, we have a day of all kinds of exciting things happening, and we look forward to seeing you then. And, and also, thank all of you, the people of Kingwood, who have used our libraries and made it such an important part of your life. So thank you. The next speaker that I would like to introduce is who, uh, he's also a, a Kingwood resident, and so... And he's very passionate about Kingwood, and not only that, he he loves parks, and uh, and he's very passionate about parks. This is this used to be a park property, and it's, as you could see, this is a park-like atmosphere. We we designed it to have a park-like atmosphere, and without any due introduction, uh, Joe Turner. Go ahead, Commissioner. <laughs> Joe, I'd just like to ask all these people wait, here. I'm, I'm, wait a minute. I'm, I'm, wait a minute. I'm, 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 go ahead. I just want to ask all these people who are here to open a library, what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Do you think just because you live in Kingwood, you got the opportunity to come up here and take a photo op with you? Yes. <laughs> Thank you for the, those encouraging words. <laughs> Commissioner. I will tell you, this is a great day. We have lived out here. I, I always gauge it by my daughter. My daughter will be turning 27 this summer, so we have been here 26 years. Uh, we were very user. She was my youngest one. We did use the Kingwood Library very much. We worked very hard in that building. I'll tell you a story, sort of how we got here to this position. I'm going to say four years ago, I lose track of time. 
I get this phone call, which means four and a half years ago, I had not been working for Mayor White very long, and I get a phone call, and it says, Turner, he says, uh, you live in Kingwood, and I go, yes, sir, and he says, uh, okay, you're not the parks director anymore, and I went, oh, this, I wonder what the commissioner's phone number is again, this is not going good, and he says, what do you need the most in Kingwood first, a library or a community center? And I said, a library, because I'm not the parks director. And he says, and I said, why do you ask that question? And he had just met with the Exxon Retiree Club and had a conversation. And he walked out of that and picked that phone up. And over a three and a half, four year, a lot of moving parts to pull this all off. But it is a good piece. We did on this piece. There's nine point something acres, 9.1 acres here, I think. We moved either four acres or five acres into the park. We did we did hang on to the other half, the other portion of it for a park. Made the trade with Commissioner Ebersole, which took some time uh, to move ourselves. Once they move out of uh, the old library, we will move in and build a new community center on that location worked with the community association out here to make a purchase of some property uh, there behind it. Most of you may not know that the property that you actually can probably park on was, was actually community association property. So we made that purchase so we have long-term control when we build this new center. We were out here just this past week working on some things with them to put that center in. We hope we're in the design phases. The com uh, we have showed the drawing and we're pretty close on that and it's really neat because we're going to be meeting the needs of a community with a brand new library the YMCA did their 12,000 square foot expansion and then we'll be going down the street and rebuilding a community center with meeting space that we can operate with 12,000 square feet very good way to do business and to meet the needs of a community thank you And just to let you know, the community center, we are at 50% construction documents, so we are very close to finishing. So we've been working on this. And um, without, before, before, I give, before I ask Dr. Lawson and uh, Rodo, Rodo Goldberg to come over here and exchange the key, this, isn't this a great day when you have the city and the county work together yeah. to serve the community? At the end of the day, there is only one customer for us, which is the community that we serve and uh, it, we serve the same customer, that's what I meant. And with that said, Dr. Lawson, yes. go, Rhoda Goldberg, yes. can I ask you to come over here okay, and in front, in front of the podium, please? Right. Rhoda, I have something oh. for you. <laughs> I have a little something for you. <laughs> okay, can I ask the... Y'all get it. Well, we got to have Joe if we're going to be here. Joe? Yes, we got to have Joe. <laughs> yes, sir. We can't tell what he's going to run for. Why, why, why? Well, you need it. <laughs> All right, one question. Commissioner, who trained me? <laughs> <laughs> I have made some mistakes. I have made some mistakes. 